Uh, the, you know, the, the Arctic Blast is in its 10th year of existence, and uh, we created this event as a fundraising tool uh, to raise money for the Viking Children's Fund. The Viking Children's Fund was established in 1978, supports numerous organizations across the upper Midwest. What we do is we bring up many current and former Viking players, the Viking cheerleaders, and they come up here with our sponsors, the Mille Lacs Band of Ojibwe, Articat, Grand Casino Mille Lacs. Viking Children's Fund has raised almost seven and a half million dollars over the years to help children's causes in the hospitals. And it's fun to come back and see some of the guys that I played with and some of the guys I didn't play with. You know, this morning it's minus 13 degrees and we've got full attendance of all the players coming up. We got players that are coming in from San Diego. We got players coming in all across the country. A San Diego guy, right? So well, how's this weather? How's the weather treating you? Uh, and I know why I left. <laughs> <laughs> With all the stuff we have on, it feels like it's about 70. But the biggest thing is, you know, every, any chance you get to, uh, you know, get back to your community, come to a you know, new place, meet fans. And, uh, you know, obviously this is for the, you know, the children's fund. And, you know, so any way I can help out, I want to be a part of it. It's a first time event for uh, many of the current players that we have up here. They've never been on a snowmobile. So nothing like putting them on 13 below. We got Mawelde Moore and Tony Richardson to carry the ball for the Vikings. We've got two Hall of Famers and Bud Grant, Paul Krause. We got bench warmer Bob Lertzman, and Darren Nelson and Carl Lee and Doug Sutherland. I'm having a blast. I want to actually buy me one of these. So uh, next year I may have my own personalized T. Rich uh, Arctic Cat. I got my first snowmobile in the 50s. I switched to Arctic Cat. And now that's what I use now when I'm up here. Articat provides all the machines, first class, brand new machines. They provide all the gear, all the helmets and then they help support the guides as well. So if you were the coach today, would you be worried about all your players going 70, 80 miles per hour on the snowmobiles? They're not supposed to. I hope they get arrested if they do. Okay. You know, the limit's 50. Yeah, yeah so they better not go that fast. How fast do you think you guys got going? Uh, look down on my speedometer. I think the fastest I got up to was about 60. Okay. But well, Grant said nobody can go over 50, the speed limit. No one told me that. Trouble. You should have told me the answer before you, <laughs> before you asked me the question. We've got six blast points around the lake. We've got a couple other facilities, and they will be jammed full all day long. A lot of people look forward to it, including myself, and uh, I hope they continue because the money goes to a good cause and everybody has a good time. Oh no, it was great. We had a good time. We actually had a, we had a Darren fell down, so that kind of, that was kind of scary. Yeah, I saw his back end kick over, and next thing I know, the thing tumbled over. But um, you know, good thing he's 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 fine. I, I uh, actually caught one of my tips, and it just flipped me off. Okay. But luckily, I have a big behind, so it didn't hurt that much. <laughs>